catch there was an article in a tweet by ESPN saying that offensive coordinator Jake Marshall is being investigated and suspended from the team. Well, yeah, we can't really comment too much on it, but yes, he will not be participating in our bowl game against Miami. So it's going to be me and a couple of our position coaches taking over the role of offensive coordinator. You know, we kind of have a framework we always play by, um, but he was, you know, obviously calling a play, so we'll make it work. He's played in the NFL with the Columbus Convicts for eight years, had a great career, made millions of dollars. Why was he gambling? We don't know. Um, I guess addiction's just a hell of a thing, but, uh, you know, he's my brother and he's an idiot, so uh, I'm sure it'll get straightened out and we'll see during the off season. Also, there's a rumor that two or three players are not going to be active for this game due to suspensions and legal issues. Can you comment on that one? Yeah, so we got a couple guys out. I know under the previous administration, we'd keep everything quiet because we think it gives us some kind of competitive advantage, but it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, so anyway, Carlos Jackson, uh, I'm not going to comment too much on his personal life because it is, you know, pretty intimate, but he will not be active for the game. And also wide receiver Ethan Riley, I'm sure you guys have seen the news, read the articles. Uh, let's just say he's not going to be active. So we're down two receivers, guys like Robbie Rogers, Vince Randall, you know, kind of playing tight end and wide receiver is going to be key. So some guys are going to have to step up for sure. And uh, in terms of everyone else, uh, Don Wilson will be active at fullback. I believe he was banned from every Chipotle in the state a couple weeks ago, obviously, after our whole debacle. And, you know, we really don't want him eating at places like that anyway. It's a little bit too much healthier. We really like to stick to the, you know, the greasy fast foods. You know, all the, you know, disgusting places where it's, you know, processed garbage. That's kind of what we like, you know. Gerald Lewis, Coach Lewis, he's kind of really been insistent on KFC recently. Um, he's, you know, been introducing us to Wendy's a little bit. We're trying to vary things up. But, yeah, Don Wilson will be active. And that's all I got. But uh, yeah, I'm sure there'll be more questions, but just real quick, this Miami team we're going up against is going to be tough. We're going to try to have the guys ready. You know, what we expect from this team every week is just to stay competitive. You know, we play a lot of teams way above us, but as long as the guys are fighting for every inch, you know, making our opponents feel our presence, you know, smacking the hell out of them, that's what we want. So it's all the time I really got. We got to get this all figured out offensively with coordinator jake marshall out not a good time i'll see you guys at some point all right folks welcome back to the marshall football walk-on dynasty today we're playing our bowl game against the number 24 miami they are in 99 overall but somehow have shit the bed and are seven and five we do have some points to delegate to our players that won awards jampy won the randy moss offensive player of the year award so we got three points we're going to use for him Gonna get his speed up one, and I think we'll go into maybe just one excel and then into a break tackle. I think that works out good for us. Stanford Chase also gets three points for winning the defensive player of the year. I think for him we're gonna go two points into play rec, and we'll throw one into speed. And Jerry Turner won the overall team MVP, the Troy Brown Award, so we're gonna throw one into speed. Also give him I think we're going to go just two into man coverage. I think that's our best bet for him. And Seth Jones won the Comeback Player of the Year, the Chad Pennington Award, since we're going all Marshall theme. Throw one into speed just because it's, you know, kind of a dignified response. Definitely throw power will be the other two points we want to use just because, I don't know, that's where he needs help. And of course, we got the Shaky Bar. They are a 99 overall in every category. These people stole their grandmother's credit card and are going to make our lives a living hell today. Their quarterback is a god. Their running back might as well be Jesus Christ reincarnated. And their receiving core might as well be the Hall of Fame of the entire freaking world. To be fair, you know, you guys you don't need to see the rest of the roster. It's the only group they don't have every player 99 overall is their cornerback. They got a 90 overall corner. And then the rest of them are like high 80s, so... It's going to be a terrible day, but we're going to give it our best shot. Hopefully we can keep it respectable and not embarrass ourselves. You know, to win this game, we're going to have to have a lot of freak 
plays and just capitalize on every opportunity. We got some pressure. That's a decent start. Easy. They had that running back on that route. Although we were in a zone, what is the penalty here? Ooh. Man, man, Marcus Hopkins was taken for a ride there. That's going to be a TFL for Pat Williams. First negative play we forced. Quick dump off Stanford. Chase isn't going for none of that business. Larry Hodges, TFL. That man is the best linebacker in the country. You cannot argue it with anybody. Even America agrees. Hand this man all his awards. Ooh-wee. We got taken for a ride once again. Oh, wait. My ignorant brain isn't working. He did not get it. Jovan Austin, great start. Seth Jones hits his first pass. That's always a good omen. The bad thing about our suspensions for Carlos and Ethan is Jerry Turner is going to have to come out and help. And Robbie Rogers, the walk-on, will also have to be here assisting us. And we are going down. Nobody open. Go figure. Ten-yard loss. And we're going down again. Don't even have time to get a pass off. Our offensive line is not strong enough to compete. I mean, we got zone coverage, man. You can't let them get 11 off of the rip on that one. That is not fair. Third and four, we're just going with zones everywhere. I don't really trust us in man coverage. There's an out route. We got it covered up. The middle's covered. That's got to be no chance. He just caught that. Rayshon Lewis was literally inside of his body, and he comes down with it. That's that 99 overall cheese right there. Y'all seeing this? You see that? You see this? Imagine if I throw this. Imagine if Seth Jones throws this pass right here. It's lurked. It gets lurked. They take it the other way. But this man somehow... It... it, it <laughs> I, I can't deal with it. This this is this is Calvin Johnson right here. This is Randy Moss. Like like I I, I can't go for this right now. I'm I'm pissed. Good run. I don't think we're gonna be able to sustain a run game, but five yards. Plain and simple, I think we're just gonna have to kinda cheat a little bit, just call cheaty plays, scramble outside of the pocket, do all that good stuff. That's a first down, thank you. Jovan Austin, oh, you just got shit on. Jovan's not fast enough to take it, but you just got step back, spun move, left in the dust to rot. Vince Randall, we ran slant combos. He had a streak. I just hot routed it, and they just got demolished by Seth freaking Jones. Tie that one back up. You know, sometimes I question myself, uh, you know, if I use their stand for Chase because I suck and he's our best player, so I feel like I need to not use her on him for the most part. Screenplay! Jerry Turner picks it off! This man is your daddy! And he's taking that one in for a touchdown! Get the f out of our lobby! thing you got to realize about Jerry Turner is, man, he's from Community College. He's a Juco guy, Fresno City. He's trying to get to the NFL, and picking off an elite quarterback like that going to help him out in uh, his NFL chances. Another receiver screen. You lost five. A little bit brain dead there. Man. Our Xavier Restro Pro is absolutely cooking our nickel corner right now, but we don't got the guns to keep up. The big issue is we can get big plays like that, but consistently beating them. Oh, well, they're going for a screen. We sent a blitz, and we are in shitsville. Uh, not good. Marcus Hopkins catch up to that. Come on, man. Marcus, you are also a Juco. You are better than this. Johnny Scott should have pitched that one, dum dum. Can I try to get some zone? No shot. Michael Redding out here 
Yeah, go pray to somebody else. Go pray to the devil or something, you piece of shit. Can't believe he got open, man. We were playing... Down here, we've been playing good zone coverage, and I feel like it's our best shot, but we just couldn't get it done. No shot, man. See, this is the kind of shit I'm talking about. We're already at a disadvantage. Now we fumble it. Set your feet, Robbie Rogers. I don't care if I'm scrambling out of the pocket. Everyone can eat my dick as far as I'm concerned. Joe on Austin, cook him again. He stays on his feet. That's gonna be a house call for Joe Vaughn Austin. Look at this stud. Carlos Jackson out, Ethan Riley out, and this man is feasting on a 90-something overall corner. Oh my god, that was the easiest defensive drive. I think going forward for the rest of the, like, you know, the next couple of drives, I'll kind of just bring you guys in on key points because we're not getting the stop defensively. Uh, Robbie Rogers, the walk-on out here, fighting for his life against 99 overall cheaters. Vince Randall, pretty simple route, just running everybody over. Joe Vaughn again, I dragged that play out, and I don't care. Good run, we'll call a timeout. And I don't care. I'm scrambling out. I don't care who it offends. Seth freaking Jones with another touchdown. Tie it back up. They got 40 seconds to work with. He's going down. Negative seven. They are going to be content to run the clock out, and I will accept that because I don't think we can stop them, even though we just got a seven-yard sack. So I'll see you guys in the second half. Robbie Rogers with an acrobatic display there. All right, opening drive, we're in a bit of a pickle here. Fourth and 10. Um, looks like they're kind of up on us. Uh, we need Jampy just going somewhere. Uh, so we're gonna have to just get out of the pocket, see what we can do. And Seth Jones is just tired, so we're gonna have to, Robbie Rogers, the freaking walk on with no gloves, just raw dogging it through life just magically catches that. You guys know that was a hope and a prayer because Seth Jones is completely out of stamina right now. He is basically inhaling oxygen at a rate that his heart cannot handle, and we should have scored a touchdown there, but we're slower than molasses back here. Vincent Randall again cooked his man for breakfast, just threw him in the stew. This man is stocky as hell. I mean, look at the thickness of his body. Runs right into us, user, tackle, two yards. We send a blitz, where are you going, son? Pat Williams, negative six. They are in a shit position, if I may say so myself. I got it, no shot, I was right there. And see, that's why I should not be in coverage. I suck at life. God, I suck so bad, I'm sorry. Uh, we should have had a stop there. Again, don't know where they're going. Minus one. That'll be Lee Miller, I believe, with the sack. One-on-one -on -one tackle. Yes! Who was it? I can't tell you who that was. I know it's our nickel corner, but for the life of me, his name escapes me every time. Todd Daniel, they over-pursued it. He's going to get ten off the rip. And Jampy will keep us in the green. That'll be Jason Sanchez. You played it too deep, son. Man, Vince Randall, when he gets his head down, he is just unstoppable, this man's a tank. And we're going down, no time to get plays out. They're getting through our line. Our line is like a Swiss cheese on a grater right now. This is horrible. We will take the three here because we need it. And if you've been watching the channel, you know I consult clock, so if we, by some chance, can get a stop, 
I can milk the rest of this clock. We just need the defense to get one big, one more big play, and we can get out of here. Uh, they're going out. Don't got help. Nice tackle and pursuit. I believe that was Cunningham. They run at Stanford Chase with the TFL. Dumb call. They tried to get us with the draw, and Stanford Chase is there. That's why he's the best in the country. They're going to punt it. Not sure I understand the logic there. Then again, their defense is tough, so they could theoretically get a very quick stop. Uh, so we'll try to Jerry Turner him here. He's going to get some space, get out to the 50. Great blocking. We did not get it. Jerry Turner, that was the catch of your career, son. Yes, pound on that ground, you stupid duck. We have to be careful here. We have to be extremely careful. We are in a precarious position. I know it's a 10-point lead, but I'm a Marshall fan. I've watched ECU come back from 21 points in 2021. The Charles Huff era pissed me off. So we have to just play this very smart, burn through as much of this clock as we can. We have a very critical third and five here. A field goal does us no good, essentially. I gotta do the math on it. Apparently my brain is just fried at this point. But Vince Randall, oh, he does not get it. He gets it, they're gonna give it to us. JMP fought hard for it, that all their timeouts are gone. This may be stupid. I know it puts us at 13, but that means they have to score two touchdowns. A touchdown and a field goal does not do it. Maybe I'm ignorant. Maybe I just blew it, but I think I have a some brain somewhere. Now the key to this defensive drive is going to be getting them stopped and just milking as much clock so we cannot score fast. They're going four verts. Um, that's what we need right there. Exactly that. They got it. That's killing their clock. And they try to go for a screen. It's going nowhere. They're at fourth and ten. This is it for the Miami Hurricanes. Nice strike. You going nowhere, son. Receiver screen, are you on a massive amount of methamphetamine, son? You're going down. Stand back. There's a hurricane coming through. Stand back. There's a hurricane coming through. You do not know how good this feels right now. I mean, there goes the clock. Our first top 25 victory in this series over a three-year span. Just think about that. They are a 99 overall team, and we took it to them, and we beat them by double digits. I'm so proud of this team right now. Like, you just don't even know. I I'm just... It's going to be another party. Hopefully we don't get more players suspended. Throw the confetti down. Play of the game was Jerry Turner's interception. I have to agree. That was a pivotal moment. Seth Jones, player of the game. What a way to cap off his year. Like, I am so proud of this kid right now. Like, I'm literally in tears because I feel like he's my son. And I feel like I'm just... I, I'm just a proud father at this moment. Stats on the day, Seth Jones, magical performance. 22 of 34, 318, three touchdowns, zero picks. A clean day from Mr. Jones. Not a ton on the rushing end, but Jampy did what he could. Got 58 yards, Seth Jones got the uh, touchdown. Receiving wise, Vince Randall, clutch day, two touchdowns. Jovan Austin was absolutely wrecking the man in front of him. Robbie Rogers, you cannot forget about this kid. A walk-on, 57 overall. Out here fighting with a 99 overall Miami. Give this kid his flowers, please. Tackle leader, who else? Stan Ford Chase. TFLs, we had a ton. Johnny Scott and Pat Williams with two. Jerry Turner, Lee Miller, Marcus Hopkins, Stanford Chase, and MJ Cunningham, all with one. Jerry Turner got the pick six. Good stuff, buddy. Lending Tree Bowl, what a nice trophy. I'm so proud of us. Checking out the All-Americans, Stanford Chase is on the first team All-NCAA. Like I said, best linebacker in the country, bar none. In terms of the All-Sun Belt team, the first team will be Sean Bailey and Stanford Chase, of course. And on the second team, 
Scotty Watkins at safety. Good to see. And Jerry Turner also. Stanford Chase will finish second in the Bednarik. Fourth in the Nagurski. And second in the Budkiss? Now come on. He was robbed. He was leading all these categories, and now he's going to fall to second and fourth. I think there's a little bit of bias here. Like Dave Gabena, whatever, dude, from Texas, he had two more TFLs, literally like 30 less tackles. Stanford Chase had more sacks, the same amount of interceptions. The only thing he's got him on is the force fumbles with two extra. So, David, I'm sorry, buddy, but... Your head does not fit your body and you're a scumbag. Now we'll take a look at the stats to end the season. Seth Jones going to finish with 2,400 yards, 19 touchdowns to 7 interceptions. Evan Russell, our third string quarterback, even got in, made himself some uh, money there. And Lauren Davis, 4 touchdowns, Jesus, 9 interceptions. Yeah, I think he's probably transferring. On the rushing end, Jampy is going to finish with... Almost 1,200 yards, 5.1 average, 8 touchdowns. Seth Jones had 9 touchdowns. Todd Daniel, great from the backup, 3 touchdowns. Jerry Turner got 4. And Dom Wilson only had 42 yards rushing but 7 touchdowns. Talk about bang for your buck. I'm thinking Jerry Turner might be our backup running back next season. Tossing around that idea, but I don't want to overutilize him. On the receiving end, Jason Sanchez kind of came out of nowhere with 600 yards. 0 touchdowns though, interesting stat. And Vince Randall, the ever-reliable tight end, 5 touchdowns. Touchdowns. Carlos Jackson did his thing. Joe Vaughn and Ethan Riley really helped us out. You know, slot guys. But Joe Vaughn came on strong that last game. Jampy out of the backfield did good as well. Jerry Turner, of course. And uh, everyone else chipping in. Dom Wilson being a fat gluttonous pig. Defensively, Stanford Chase, Scotty Watkins, and Ray Sean will be our tackle leaders for the year. TFL-wise, Stanford at the top. Scott, uh, Sean Bailey, I should say, with 12 and 8 sacks. The guy's a monster for being a 69 overall. And there's the look at the rest of them. Good stuff from everybody. Nine, eight, seven, everybody really chipping in, having a good time. Interception wise, we had Stanford, Jerry, Stewart, Hopkins, and Scotty all got interceptions, five of the guys. Best deflection wise, Jerry Turner led with three. Nathan Stewart and Hopkins each got two. And Rayshon and uh, Stanford got one. Forced fumbles, I mean, you can just go down the list here. Two recoveries from Johnny Scott, wow. We got four defensive touchdowns. That's insane, actually. Johnny, Stewart, Turner, and Miller. George Smith, the kicker, 10 for 10. This man had a hell of a year. Turn-wise, Marcus and Jerry did pretty good, I would say. Punt return-wise, Jerry got himself a touchdown. Good year from that young man. But yeah, everybody, that is going to do it for this episode. And this season, we finish 8 and 5. Off-season will be next. That's usually a pretty crisp and concise video if anybody wants to be a recruit. Speak now or forever. Hold your peace. That'll do it. The sun is just beaming down on me right now. This is ridiculous. But everybody have a good day or night. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.